Every year, British professional wrestlers, old and new, gather together to celebrate their much maligned trade. They gather to tell stories and reminisce about times when professional wrestlers were treated with respect and admiration. I admired the real hard men of the game, Bert Azzerati, Jack Pye and people like that, uh, Billy Robinson, that was just before my time. I wished I could have been in their area. I'd have got a real good hiding from them, but I would have enjoyed it, you know. Because if you'd trained in, in Riley's gym, you thought, oh, hey, this guy knows something. And it, and it came out in the match. You ended up with cauliflower ears. Today's wrestling is different, you know. Uh, as I say, it's like over the top with showmanship. In Jack Pye and Bert Azzerati in their days, it was a very, very, it's a man's world, a very, very strong, powerful way of, uh, you know, expressing yourself wrestling. Now it's just American rubbish. I mean, you've only got to look at it now. I mean, there's no wrestling around the world like there was. It's certainly more show businessy now like i think well, it's a good thing or a bad thing i don't know okay for the kids i want to go on record as saying i think they're great athletes i think they have great physiques and i think they're tougher than heck take the falls and the batterings they do um i respect them i don't like the storyline i think america's culture is going in the toilet and i think somewhere along the line people have to say our cultural values are more important than than the money we can make uh, but there's lots of people who are never going to